Hi, my name is Matt Carroll for World Class Coaching, and with the help of Academy Sports Coach 2023, I want to talk to you about a session that I've created uh, about the role of the holding midfielder. Um, and so I've found a lot of these ideas from the book that we have available on the website that I'll put in the comments section called The Role of the Holding Midfielder Defending by Luca Bertolini. And within this book, we have a couple of examples of um, holding midfielders, um, who is a holding midfielder, an introduction, uh, and the idea of the defensive screen with Fernandinho at Manchester City, Casemiro at Real Madrid, and Busquets at Barcelona. Um, so there's a lot of really great examples in here that you can check out. Heat maps, all that great stuff. We're talking about the way we can utilize our our, um, our holding midfielder or our sixes in our uh, our systems. So the way I start this off, and the concept I really want to hit on is is, is cover. Is really our our center um, uh, defensive mid is really reading the game. Our holding midfielder is reading the game. Um, they're lo looking at the way the game's developing, and they're inserting themselves in a way of um, destroying passing combinations. They're finding out where the pass is. They're anticipating the next pass. They're reading the game. They're picking the pass off and then transitioning the ball into the attack. Um, so defensively, what we're working on here is that concept of cover. And we're going to start that out with a 2v2. Um, so we get the pressure here. Uh, off the ball runs here. And this player is really focusing on um, the cover situation. So I would, I would start this game off and just let it run. Normally 2v2, and next, you know, ball goes out, scored, whatever it may be. Next guy comes in, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but then I would maybe make specific um, uh, stipulations of the game. Like this player gets a point if they're able to intercept the pass. Um, this player gets a point if they're able then to, after intercepting a pass, I mean, it's two points if they're able to play a pass and then scores a goal. So in a situation where like this pass is put in, the pressure's on, this player kind of reads the situation. They're able to get to that ball. This player makes a run pass from the interception and then a shot on goal. Maybe this is three points here. So we're just trying to create situations where the covering player is the one that's winning the ball. Um, you know, we'd love for the pressure player to win the ball. We'd love for them to be an option, but generally where we're going to win the ball is that cover position, the cover, the center defensive mid reading the game, um, figuring out, you know, what the best opportunity is to attack and then go out there and, and, uh, and destroy the opposition's um, uh, build up play. So, we would then transition from there into a, a 3v3. Because within this style now, we can have two players forward and we can have the six reading the game a little bit more um, three-dimensionally where they're seeing both sides of the field and making it a little bit more um, uh, identifying the width and things like that. 2v2, generally you're, you're kind of cutting the, the angle in half. Uh, you know, you've got this player, there's only one other option. Here, they can switch the ball, they can play back, they can play over here. So the CDM here has much more of a, a full field array of, of choices and decisions to make. So 2v2 to a 3v3, and then we can continue to add those, those stipulations of, okay, well, if you intercept the pa a pass and we get a shot off of it, you get a certain number of points and things like that. Um, get creative with that, kind of whatever. If you like your, your holding midfielder to then play wide, maybe it's if you can get a pass to the touch line, uh, we go from there, maybe it's a point. If you want them to immediately um, uh, take the ball forward and draw a defender and be the one v one Cool. Okay, then make that your um, specific thing that you're looking for them to utilize. So where we move from here is I'm going to break the field up into thirds. Small side of games, but into thirds where we've got a channel here for the six to work in. And basically what I've got here is maybe 3v3, 2v2, whatever it may be, go for as high as 4v4. Um, but I have a 3v3 here. And a 3v3 in the other grid. And in that channel, I'm going to have my, my holding midfielder play. And the holding midfielder's role will be to, oh, don't need that guy, to break up passes coming between the grids. So we start here. Um, start with the ball. On this side, yellow is able to complete three passes. Their job is then to play. Um, over to the yellows in this grid. The role of the six is they're constantly kind of maneuvering around, figuring things out, seeing where everybody is, and they're gonna get a point for every time they're able to intercept the pass. So the, the um, yellows are able to play a pass here. We get this guy checking out wide. The six, again, playing a much more three-dimensional game. So we went from playing like one side of the, a quarter of the field to half the field to now we're playing basically the entire field and looking for them to um, analyze the situations. 
is able to slide into the cover and intercept this pass coming here. And then they would play to black in this grid or this grid. They could have, they, you can make it, they only go away. They have to have choice, whatever it may be. Um, but the idea is this player is generally just playing in the midfield and looking to destroy. Is looking to destroy um, opposition's build-up play, opposition's passes, um, looking to, to um, kind of clean things up and cover for the, the team in defense. Um, where we move on from there is then we'd add goals. We can add go oh, not that one. We can add goals and make it a much more directional style game. Where black's trying to score here. Black's unable to score. They give up the ball to yellow. The uh, center midfielder is trying to um, central defense midfielder is trying to break a play. Intercepts this pass. They can then play into black and keep the, the attack going. So yellow basically has to build up against a three v four with a roving um, uh, holding mid in the channel to kind of cover them, and make sure they can't end it, can't get into that position. Um, then I would scale it up from there, clear it all off, and we get a full sided game where maybe we have a line. Now other players can enter this grid. We have. And this maybe works a little bit more if you're playing like a 4-2-3-1. But we have a group of two CDMs in this area. Other players can enter the grid, of course, but within a, a full-sided game, you've got these two holding center mids, and they get a point for every time they're able to intercept the pass or, or, um, or stop play. Um, anytime they're able to kind of sit there and um, uh, break up a pass, break up some kind of attack, and then transition to their team, they get a point. Um, and we can work that way, and we can rotate other center, center defensive mids in, but it just kind of creates uh, an area for them to work within. It's obviously the most advantageous position to go through. It's the, the most um, direct to goal, so it's going to funnel a lot of players into there. They're going to see a lot of activity, and it's going to see, can, can these players in their position um, close out those gaps? So where I would go from here is I would get into a scrimmage where you have just the sixes playing kind of just naturally, um, setting up your system or your style of play, against whatever the opposition will play, things like that, um, getting creative with that. Um, and, and there you're looking for, are my CDMs in a position that they are breaking up passes and then leading to the counterattack? So um, I'm going to do another, um, we have another book available um, called The Role of the Holding Midfielder Attacking. And I think really, especially with the, the six in general, you know, obviously it's a game of transitions, but the six's role in the transition is probably one of the most important because you want that six to receive um, in front of the defensive line and you want them to get it away from there quickly and into attacking position because hopefully in that situation you've got the opposition is forward. Um, they're getting up, they're getting forward and your six can then break lines to get an attack going for, uh, quickly. So I think you want to play maybe these, these sessions back to back in, if you're in your training um, uh, curriculum. Um, or you can even utilize a lot of the things we've talked about here into the attacking. So once the defender, defender wins, are they able to get the ball quickly up and into attacking position? Um, and I'd love to see in the comments kind of the way you uh, discern your uh, your holding midfielder's role um, within your defensive and attacking situations. Um, so again, my name is Matt Carroll with World Class Coaching and Health Academy Sports Coach 2023 and the book The Role of the Holding Midfielder by Luca Ber uh, Defending by Luca Bertolini, which will be in the um, comment section for you to check out. Uh, I hope this session finds you well.